Greetings! This is your Prof in a Box, Dr. Janine Perolini, and I am literally in a box today. It's only a cargo van right now, and today I'd like to talk with you about which van do I choose in about five minutes. Choosing a van is one of the major decisions in building a van because this decision affects the rest of our decisions. From my perspective, there were three choices. I started out with the Ram ProMaster and then realized it didn't have all-wheel drive. I wanted an all-wheel drive van because my plan is to drive and operate my van in winter. I love cross-country skiing and downhill skiing, so I want a van that can maneuver winter roads. When I realized the Ram did not have all-wheel drive, I moved on to the Mercedes Sprinter and was set on it. But then I struggled with its different sizes and maneuverability. So I landed on the Ford Transit. My reasons for choosing the Ford were the size of the van, the ease of driving, and the gas versus diesel decisions. Let me first address the size of the van because size really does matter in van life. Initially, I was set on choosing the Sprinter there were a few sizes in the Sprinter and I was thinking about the midsize and the extended one. For me, the problem with the midsize Sprinter was that I could not accommodate both a bench seat and a shower in my van design. I wanted there to be a little couch as you open up the sliding door and walk into my van as I thought it would give the van more of that homey living room feel that I was looking for. I also wanted to have a nice view as I looked out the sliding door from my bench seat because that's one of the bigger views in the van is that sliding door. So um, I, I also wanted a shower and a toilet area in my van. The medium sized Sprinter was just too small to accommodate both that bench seat and the shower. So I looked at the extended 24 foot Sprinter and found myself as I drove it having a hard time. Um, I felt like I was in a huge box and I found myself consistently rolling over the curb. Also, I learned that some national parks require a 22 foot or less vehicle on their roads. And as I did more, de more research, I became a bit concerned about the diesel. So I, I learned that there can be some issues with diesel fluid in cold weather. Lastly, although this wasn't a major issue for me, I was concerned about finding room for the diesel emission fluid tank, the DEF fluid tank that is required with a diesel ve vehicle. Space is hard enough in a van, let alone adding another tank. Also, I thought it would be hard to remember to find death fluid and fill the tank every few thousand miles, so that was a concern to me. For the most part, layout and drivability were my main reasons for not choosing the Sprinter, yet the diesel issues also concerned me. The size of my Ford Extended at 22 feet is just the right size for my design. I can get in my shower and my bench in the van and I can create that homey feel I've been looking for as I enter the sliding door. When I initially drove the Ford Transit, I was pleasantly surprised by how easy it is to drive. To confirm that, 22 feet would work for me, my Ford dealer found a way to let me drive a van that size around town for about an hour. So I practiced going into the city with it, parking, turning, backing up. Also, I rented a camper van that size for about an eight day trip to make sure that I could drive it and be comfortable. I decided the Ford Transit Extended High Roof was a vehicle for me. I recommend working with Paul Blomquist at Rosso County Ford as he and his team made sure I had exactly what I needed along the way. My goal in this video is to share my learning with you in about five minutes to respect your schedule as well. I hope you found this video helpful and I pray it supports you in making decisions about which van you will choose. 
We're all individuals and we have different needs and I want you to find the right van for you. Thanks for tuning in and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Prof in a Box. Bye for now.